Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a button that when you click on it, allows your player to sprint. And then you can also click it off to go back to the normal speed. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Alright, so first we're going to take a look at how to create this button here, and then we'll take a look at the script for it. So to create this button here, what you want to do is go over to the starter GUI, click on the plus sign to add a screen GUI, and then under the screen GUI, you want to add a text button. It's important that you add a text button and not a text label, because we need to be able to click on it. Under the text section, I would start it off by saying sprint, colon, and then off. After you do that and customize it to look the way you want, then we're going to be adding a local script under this button. The first thing we're going to do for this local script is we're going to say local button, and this is going to be equal to script.parent. After that, we're going to say local players is equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put players. Then we're going to say local sprinting is equal to false. The next thing we're going to do is work on a function to run whenever the button is clicked. So to do that we're going to say local function. The name of our function is going to be sprint. Inside the function the first thing we're going to do is say local player is equal to players dot local player. So this will get the current local player. Then we're going to say if not sprinting then what we're going to do is we're going to set sprinting equal to true. We're going to change the button's text, so we're going to say button.text. And we're going to set this equal to sprint on. And then we're going to say player.character.humanoid.walkspeed. And we're going to set this equal to 50. And this value here you can change depending on how fast you want the player to be able to go. After that we're going to say else. And what we need to do in this case is we're going to set sprinting equal to false. We're going to set the button's text equal to sprint off. And then we're going to set the walk speed back to the default which is 16. Then down here at the bottom we're going to say button dot mouse button one click colon connect and then we want to connect this to the function we just wrote which is sprint so what's going to happen is when the player spawns into the game they're going to have the default walk speed of 16 and then when they click that button down the bottom corner this one right here it's going to do a couple different things it's going to set the sprinting variable equal to true it's going to change the text of the button which I noticed I just made a spelling mistake so there we go so it's going to change the text of the button to sprint on and then it's going to set the walk speed of the player equal to 50. If the player clicks the button again then it's going to do the opposite of that. So it's going to set sprinting equal to false. It's going to set the text equal to sprint off and then it's going to set its walk speed back to the default of 16. So let's go ahead and take a look to make sure we didn't make any mistakes. So when my player spawns into the game it has the default walk speed of 16. If I click on the button here I can see that the text has changed and also my player is going a lot faster and then if I click it again it changes back to off and my player has the default walk speed again okay like I said before you can change this value right here to either a bigger or smaller number depending on how fast you want the player to go so if I change this to 100 and we try it again now when I turn sprinting on it goes a lot faster alright so this is gonna be the end of the video I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one